Hey guys, it's Nick with Smith Ford Strength and Conditioning. Today, the Saturday series continues with the topic of control. So this week kind of came to a head with me. Um, I felt like I'd been pretty positive, pretty optimistic, and I kind of came to a point where I was like, this kind of sucks, you know? Um, I'm the type of person that tries to stay positive. I like to keep everybody around me happy, especially in my inner circle. So this week I kind of had some, uh, I had to have some reflection time and realized that um, I can't always be positive all the time. And it's okay to feel negative things sometimes. Um, and I think what was challenging the most was this this concept of being able to control everything around you and essentially relinquishing control. Being able to let go of things that I am incapable of, incapable of controlling. And I think that's one of the hardest things for me because I think it attacks my ego and it attacks my identity a little bit. And I'm the type of person who likes to have organization and control. I like to know what's going on. I like things to be in a timely manner. And we are in a state of affairs where things are kind of chaotic. And we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Nobody does. Um, something might change. Um, your, your work's already changed. There's so many variables now that used to be constants. And... Um, those variables are stressful for some people, me, sure a ton of you, um, those variables are really hard to overcome or even just come to terms with. And that's been my biggest challenge as well. Taking these variables that I have no control over them and relinquishing that control. Um, I may not be able to control other people or my environment because the environment is chaos like I mentioned and but I can control how I respond to those things uh, I can I can control how I react whether it be positive um, whether it be experiencing feelings and that's something that I've had to battle with and men are not uh, always encouraged to express feelings they are uh, not allowed to feel emotions that's not society society doesn't uh, like that so much and if you're a guy out there that's bs if you got feelings feel them um they can be positive they can be negative but i think being able to have an identification of those feelings allows you to control them so they don't get out of control with large bursts of anger or whatever it may be or internalizing it, whatever you do to manage it. But being able to identify those things so you can be in that moment and just live with those feelings so you can move on. You can make rational decisions so it doesn't just build up. Um, but... I don't have much else to say about this topic other than this has been a struggle for me in being able to relinquish control. And I'm sure a lot of you are dealing with very similar feelings because of the state of affairs and because we don't have a lot of control over what's going on around us. So I hope you guys are staying strong, staying safe. Um, this is intended not to be a pisser because I know... Everybody else has got their own things going on, but I hope it um, brings some light to the fact that it's okay to feel the way that you're feeling. And I really do think that this will get better soon. I don't think it's gonna be next week and probably not even next month, but eventually things will feel more normal and people will be able to go back to their routines of what we, um, what we used to feel as normal even though we'll be changed forever and we can have a greater appreciation for the things that were our normal, which I'm really excited for. So hope you have, guys have a great rest of your weekend and um, 
love one another, stay safe, continue to practice good hand hygiene, social distancing, and um, I'll see you guys very soon.